Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Um, so today's video is a easy tutorial on how to use just one to two products to create a, a very everyday eye look. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in seeing, please keep watching. So for our one to two product eye look today, we're gonna be using a pencil and a paint pod or this, this is like a cream eyeshadow. Um, so this one's from Tom Ford. I actually really love the Tom Ford cream eyeshadows. They, they blend really well, they go on really well, they seem to last all day. I haven't had a sweat test yet, but um, I think I might try that. <laughs> I might try that to see the before and after. Um, but these products, both of these products could be a one and done. Like you just put it on your eye and you're good to go. Um, just with add a little mascara and you're out the door. Or it could be a um, maybe a two product uh, eye look where you use this and then to kind of shade the eye and then you use this just to fill in and give some sparkle and shine and a glitter as I always have to have uh, on the eyelid. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get started. So I already have all my face makeup on. So I, today I'm actually wearing the uh, Pat McGrath foundation. I've got a little uh, Natasha Denona uh, glow on my cheeks, as well as some um, Tom Ford uh, bronzer just to add a little color. In the summertime, as we are now approaching the heat of summer, <laughs> in the summer I like to keep it easy. Uh, a lot of times I'll just throw on some blush or maybe just use bronzer by itself and then maybe add something to give me a little more um, glow on my cheekbones. Uh, so something like this, um, the Natasha Denona Duo Glow, or the um, or any other highlighter that you might like to use works well too. All right, so let's get into the eye look. So for this, so like I said, two products, right? So the one, the, I've been really into these crayon sticks, so I don't know about you guys, but when quarantine first hit, my motivation to put on makeup was like zero <laughs> because I I was just like not into it, um, especially the first couple of weeks, uh, especially the week one, I think, just trying to adjust to school, you know, having to homeschool our son, and then also just with work, um, being crazy, it, it was just kind of like nonstop meetings at that time because everybody was unsure of what was happening. I, um, I just was not into doing makeup week one. By week two, I had kind of recovered and I was like, ugh, now I just feel blah. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but whenever I feel blah, like putting on makeup actually makes me feel better because it makes me feel, I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm more alive and, and kind of gets me out of my rut. So, um, so I started trying to find quick, easy things to do that I could just kind of do quickly. Um, I've actually just done this eye look just to uh, adjust my eyes, just so, cause uh, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of telecons um, and uh, our folks have been wanting to have the camera on, which is great because then we get to see our coworkers, but that means I have to, <laughs> I don't have to wear makeup, but I feel more presentable if I'm wearing makeup. And so I was looking for something that I could just quickly do. Um, so I I was actually just doing my eyes and, and maybe and just wearing my usual just sunscreen maybe a little bit of powder and that was kind of it um, so if you're in that situation right now this is actually a really quick way uh, a quick thing to do so let's get to it um, so these are one of these is nude stick so I'll link I'll link all of these products down below but this is a nude stick matte eye color I got this at the last uh, Sephora VIB Rouge sale and this one too Charlotte Tilbury amethyst um, aphrodisiac uh, crayon as well. So this is like a purple color and it has some, some glitter to it. It's really pretty. Um, here I'll just do some swatches on my hand so you can see. Um, so this is like a purple color, really pretty. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. And then uh, a, a nice brown color. So anyway, so we'll do the brown color today because I think, you know, something like a brown is just so easy to universally use. So you could use this as your eyeshadow, you could use this as your liner. Um, so that cuts out another product, right? So we're just going to use this as our eyeshadow and liner. So I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to kind of line, like start in the outer corner, come up and around. So it looks a little crazy, right? I'm going to, actually, let me bring you guys in a little bit more. There we go. So see, it looks crazy. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna just do a little line underneath. So kind of on my lash line underneath the eye. But you're, you can see, I am just literally drawing 
drawing and outlining my eye. So we have some crazy color there. Now from step two, you could either use your finger or a brush. I tend to like to use brushes. Um, so I'm gonna use this, this is actually a Pat McGrath brush. I like it because it's, it's fluffy, but it's got some stiffness to it um, so that you can actually kind of blend things. So I'm just gonna kind of blend this all over my eye, but the majority of the color is gonna stay in that outer corner. And you can build this up. You can, you know, makeup is fun. It's meant to be fun. I know a lot of people, some people can think it's scary, but it's meant to be fun. And it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect all the time. See, see how well that blended? So I'm gonna take another smaller brush for under my eye. This is actually a Wayne Goss uh, number 20 brush and do the same thing going into the underneath the eye and then going back into the corner. So, already got beautiful shading. You can take a nice clean brush and just clean up the edges. But I mean, you could just, from here, you could add on maybe a little bit just in the lash line to line your eyes a little bit more or on the top. I feel like eyeliner, eyeliner is a very personal preference, so you could add a little bit more on the top. If you want a little bit more shading, you could just dab a little bit more here. Take your, the brush that you used initially and do a little more contouring. Uh, I'm spending a little more time, but honestly, where we were about a minute ago, <laughs> we could have stopped. And this, I mean, I would then put, just put on some eye, eye, uh, eye, put on some mascara and just be done. I mean, that is how quick this could be. Um, but because I don't have glitter on, and this is something I must always have on, <laughs> we are going to add on um, one of the cream eyeshadows, the Tom Ford cream eyeshadow. This one is in Sun Worship, so it's a nice pretty gold color. These also come with a little um, gl extra glitter on the top, so you can add a little more, a little more sparkle if you want. Um, but so so here like I said you could stop here you could just put on some mascara and you could you have a very natural eye look and you'd be good to go but um, since I want to add a little bit of glitter I'm gonna take this cream eyeshadow I'm using this brush this is ooh, this is a, a very worn out brush that no longer has a number it used to be a Mac brush it looks like zero one two no two one two two twelve so Mac two twelve brush um, you can also use your fingers here, but I'm just gonna kind of dab this on the lid. So not getting into the dark color here, but just the inside of the eye. Just to add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of shine. Cause that is who I am. <laughs> sparkle and shine. All right. So just adding that here. And then see, it just adds a little bit more color. I'll just put a little bit under here as well. The corners, the corner where they meet. So corner to corner, just a little bit. And there you go. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, the other good thing about these uh, cream eyeshadows, um, especially some of these darker colors, like I really like this naked bronze one from Tom Ford. It's a really pretty bronze color. Um, this one you could actually put all over your eye and, and do basically what I did with the eye pencil and just create some shading um, and just soften the edges and it's a one, one and done. This is one that I love to travel with, um, especially if we take like a beach vacation because it is an easy thing um, just to throw in the eye when you want to have some makeup, like if you're going out for dinner and you don't have to pack a bunch of stuff. So I will be talking about that in a future video, video for sure. 
Um, but that's it. So I'm going to finish uh, putting on some mascara and then we'll do the finished look. And that's our finished look. Um, so I just put on a little of my uh, Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes mascara that you guys know I love and uh, a little Tom Ford Naked Coral uh, lipstick. Another neat trick, especially if you are working on a lot of telecons, another good way to look more done up than you might actually be is just put on a bold lip because that's really gonna make you look um, a little more dressed up than you uh, maybe perhaps are. So, so yeah, so that's today's uh, little tip, tip of the day. So yeah, so that's today's video. Uh, so give this video a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested, if you have any questions about any of the products I've used or want to see uh, some particular techniques, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment and I'll check you guys next time in my next video. Have a wonderful day and see you guys next time.